Welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you. The accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm establish. So my guess and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Dan Tiasanti. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform their present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, guided meditation, angel oracle cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. I've also created several transformational packages, a journey through lifetimes, as well as a six-week guide to meditation series to help you take charge of your destiny. Now, each episode of this show covers various themes of your journey, a mini guide to meditation or angel oracle card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Dan Tiasanti, about her money journey and how you can release, relieve and receive. Now, Dante is a speaker who's been working online with women across the globe to train them to thrive under various adversities, as well as working with Sophie Masson as chief editor to publish a women's magazine to spread hope and kindness across the globe. Dante is now debt-free, growing a wellness business, attracting publishers and protected and prospective buyers, as well as manifesting many items, including cards, a house and random money surprises. Dante has found the secret to have anything we want in life by releasing, accepting relief and receiving. Now, Dante is also founder of Harnessing Heart Foundation, a member of Kind Movement in Australia that has cropped up around various parts of Australia during and after COVID-19. It has been organised in a free programme in Armidale since 2018. So without further delay, hello Dante and welcome to the Angels Destiny Show. How are you today? Hello, Ray. I'm great. Thank you for having me. Ah, you're welcome. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that not only can you share this video, but you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts, as both Dante and I want to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. So Dante, why don't you tell us more about your journey and how we can release, relieve and receive to attract abundance into our lives? All right. Um... So I am an Indonesian woman. I've been living in Armidale now for about five years so to pursue my PhD. I just completed my PhD a couple of months ago. And then I've got the idea to have or to be a businesswoman. But because of my background as the Eastern and because of the Eastern culture, it's a very easy for me it has been very easy for me to get trapped into negative emotion so it's a very easy for me to kind of having like self-doubt and then like worry and then even like question my self-worth <laughs> and um so it's been a very interesting journey so back in indonesia i was invisible but in Armidale, I become invisible. So, <laughs> and then I kind of, uh, after learning for years, so while doing my PhD, I also like learning anything and everything about psychology and then how to manifest. And it just like makes me like, oh my goodness, it's a very fun easy yet fun and then i just like yes i really would like to stay on this path and i would like to kind of uh, because i've been there i get the result and i want to teach and i would like to invite as many women as possible just to thrive regardless um so what i'm doing um because of because of the uh, is a very simple technique actually and because it's a very simple, at the very beginning, my client just like, really? Only that? Are you sure? I want something <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I want something difficult. Oh, that's easy. And then when I ask them, like, just try to do that within a week. And then let me know the progress. 
and then after three two days they just come back and just like goodness it's the most challenging technique ever really yes ah all right it's interesting <laughs> so what i've been focusing is the feeling because i do believe that we are of the feeling actually yeah. so when we are like when i for example i have dreams to have my own big house pretty cars pile of money lover because i believe that in having all of those i will feel better and then i've been searching for years like but how come is kind of a challenging for me to get all of those stuff is a uh, impossible even for me to get for example 500 in my bank account in minutes but i can control my feeling i can make myself i can shift my negative feeling to positive feeling in minutes basically and that's what i've been doing so i'm having positive self-talk i'm having positive talk with others and i'm having positive talk with the universe basically so every time something unwanted happen i talk to myself over and over again it is what it is and that's okay i'm fine I will figure it out. Just like try to motivate myself when I'm taking the shower, just whenever I'm alone, like to be the best friend of myself and try not to focus on the uh, unwant unwanted. I focus on what I want and this is it. It's only that. So, All of this, uh, yeah. yeah. So, so, so how do you? So, so how how do you do that? Because you know, because because we all kind of like think, oh, right, I need to be more positive. I need to do this, but then things just get in, and we kind of like, oh, well, you know, that that's that that that's just that. How do you manage to sort of like, you know, be in that, stay in that, you know, change that into positive and um, and stuff? How do you do it? Yeah, so I do it with several. So basically, my focus is only about positive self-talk, positive talk, positive words, basically. But I'm doing through many activities. For example, if it is really hard for me to kind of find the positive aspect of whatever is going on, I prefer to kind of having self-talk. It's like, well, it's just temporary. It's all right. It's okay. Things will always working out for me, always. All I need is just like trust myself, trust the divine timing, and trust the universe. So I need to go through all of this. And I have like one mantra, like I, whenever I speak this sentence, this always makes me like, oh, yeah, it's so much fun. <laughs> it's just like, I always, keep reminding myself that the biggest part of me is already experiencing what I want. Like it's only me because of, I do not trust myself because I'm focusing on the unwanted. So I do not allow myself to receive so actually it's already there whatever we ask is is always given just like the first time when i heard that really that's simple but you know how <laughs> and now i know that it's only about trust it's only about aligning myself with my higher self and once i'm there miracle happen like daily like oh my gosh you know <laughs> things like that it's just like oh my gosh no it's no well sometimes negative thought 
just still visiting. But now I just like more aware. I'm more aware that, oh, okay, all right. So you come. But then I just like, but you will stay there and you will like go away forever. Because I know that I can think of positive thought after I choose that I want relief. I want to feel relief. That's really what's really matter the most. So after I choose to feel relief, then I think of positive thought. And it's only that. And then sometimes I just like write down the journal. Once everything gets easier, easier and easier, and this is write down. And once I write down every single positive things, and I just like come up with, for example, business ideas. And then, you know, like a lot of business ideas. And then I just like, wow, it was so much fun. I just receive it like so much fun, so much fun. You know, but when I share with my friend, like I do have this business idea. And then my friend said, awesome. I would like to invest my money. Really? So I just, at the first time I just share, but my friends are like, I would like to invest my money. <gasps> All right, let's do this together. And then my friend is like, okay, all right. So how are you going to do it? I will let you know tomorrow because <laughs> I, I didn't know yet. I didn't know yet. I just like received the idea first. And then once I, oh, I write down, I'm in a kind of, uh, I'm in joy. It's a very, very interesting idea. Wow, just nobody. I, I think I find their niece. I think no one will get, like, all of those stuff, like, yes, we will be a millionaire. We will be a millionaire very soon or something like that. And then, and then once I like in the morning, I doing something else like meditate. And right after that, most of the time, right after meditate, all of those inspire action. Talk to this person, go to that place, uh, call this person, open this, Google this one and all of the stuff. It's like, oh my gosh, just like click just like this one. And just within days, it's done. Execute it, a lounge, and then another one, and then another one, you know, like, goodness, so much fun. So it's just like, I really would like to stay. I really would like to. <laughs> and, and, it, and, it, and it seems that I mean, be behind all of it is joy and fun. It, it's literally, mm -hmm. you know, just talking to you and everything you're saying, it all boils down to fun and enjoyment. Right. Yeah, right. And um, this is something like, because I was so very, what is it? People like call me like I was a sensitive person. But now I think like, well, it's good to be sensitive because I'm aware of my feeling so that I can catch up the negative feelings and ah, I feel this one. Ah, I'm angry. I don't want to stay in this feeling. It's like that. But I just like dig it into it. I own the feeling like, oh, yes, I feel angry. Then I talk to myself. What makes you angry, Tanti? Do you want to stay in this feeling? Do you want to be angry? Or you want to be um, feel better? I want to feel better. I don't want to, I want to make peace with myself, things like that. All right, so change your thought. And then I change my thoughts that, well, it's okay, it's fine. Well, yeah, I know, well, but things will be better, things like that. It's always a very small talk. It's like a general but positive one. Yeah. And after that, everything gets easier and easier and easier. So much fun. So that's why now I have like got two business mentor to refuse my money. And then like daily things happen, like daily things, like, oh my gosh, it's just too good to be true, but it's real. <laughs> that's, that's, that, is, that, is, that is absolutely brilliant. So how did you find, you know, um, moving over to Australia? Um, uh, 
be because because obviously you know Australians can be are, um in you know to get into Australia is really really hard um and I mean, you've, been able, you've been able to move over there and live over there how, how did that come about and, and what was it like <laughs> yeah because at the uh, first time I've got the idea to pursue my PhD and then I just the simple thought Australia is the nearest <laughs> Western country it's just only that but once I'm here I find people here very friendly they are very nice they are very kind and really kind of teach me how to behave to talk and I learn a lot from them and I just like because of them they also motivate me to be a better person and to be who I am today so I feel and I think and I'm sure then I know that I find my home now oh, beautiful <laughs> and it's, it's, it's amazing that sometimes we leave the country we're born in and we go somewhere else and actually we yeah. feel more, more akin with that country than when, where we're actually born yeah yeah right yeah and then just like no because i'm living in australia i can see the uh, indonesian the culture i always compare and contrast and like i know i can engage with indonesian people in a different way and then i teach also my indonesian female friends because Many of my friends, they said to me that I'm different now, that I'm a different person now, that I am a wise person now. Really? It's like that. It's just too kind. It's just like to make me happy. Now you're wise, so let me know. What is the secret, they said? It's nothing. So when, for example, like when they said, well, I don't like that person. I don't, well, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with you or nothing wrong with that person. It's just like the same like when when it comes to food, we know that we have food that we love and we know that we have food that we don't like. Nothing wrong with those that we don't like. But we will never tell to the chef food that we don't like. We will never waste our time. We always tell I would like you to cook me this food because that's what I like. As simple as that. But when it comes to talk, we are doing that by default. So we talk to our friends simply because we would like to have the conversation. So we just talk like anything even the negative stuff as long as we have the conversation things like that instead of focus on the things that really empower us really make us happy so i would like to kind of uh, create that kind of environment that kind of talk that kind of uh, life so i try to kind of uh, I don't know, maybe my friend get a, a kind of annoyed because every time they said something, share the problem with me, so like, it's fine, it's okay. It's only temporary. Things will always get better. Things will always work out for you, for me. Yeah, but how? It's simple, but I just can't. You can, so like that. So it happens. So that's why I can like, Pay my 19,000 Australian dollars in 12 days. And I was a student and I work as a uh, casual part time. I just didn't have an idea how could I do that. But it happened 12 days, nothing. Just got paid off and this is it. So, um, yeah, it, it's 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 perfect. It just shows that it you know that it that it works. It works really, and the best part is just like it makes me feel better most of the time. So now when things go wrong, feels like I know what I have to do now. 
I know what I should think. I know what I should feel. I know things like that. So things just like in minutes, I can just shift my feeling. And that's why I would like to kind of a little by little, I would like to kind of a like share. For example, I'm having my women magazine because I would like to feature women all across the the globe sharing their breakthrough story to inspire and to give hopes to other women that yes there is still hope no matter what even if you think that you hit the rock bottom well even that's a very good news why because you cannot go any further, any, any further or all you can do is just like now it's time for you to look up and then just like you can climb and you can just get over again, start over again in your life. So that's even the best part. Huh, really? Yes. All right. So that that is you know, that is a brilliant idea dear from for a magazine, you know, and obviously it's kinda of like what this show is to inspire and empower women. Um right. uh, you know, to 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 really step into their confidence to be who they truly are, to 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 re achieve receive everything that, that that is our birthright that's right Ray. it's our birthright so abandon is our birthright because if we remember or if we observe babies and little kids how they remind us that abandon is really our birthright that, that they can get anything anytime basically so it's, it's really amazed me just oh my goodness yeah that's right it's like they are the best reminder babies and little kids are the best teachers oh totally. so I like, yeah I, I, li I like to kind of observe them it's just like i learn how they behave i learn how they how they react i learn how they can get in touch with their feeling, how they are so positive, like their positive energy, just like so amazing. So whenever, whenever my friends, like they start to compare their kids with other kids, I said like, but your kid is perfect. Yeah, but compared to, compared to, well, no, your kid is just perfect. Can you see? Look, I adore him very much. It's like he teaches me a lot. Like this, he's the best teacher ever to me. Like teach me how to talk to people, teach me how to react, teach me how to be honest, teach me how to stay true to ourselves. That it is safe to be ourselves, you know, like kids can just cry. Just like express whatever they like. Just so real. So I just like that feeling, that freedom. That's the real freedom. So that that's exactly the message that I would like to let all women that it is safe to be you. That it is safe to speak up. So let's shine together. Beautiful, beautiful yes and we can all shine together when we come together and support each other um in everything yes. everything we do so how did the um harnessing heart foundation what's all that about <laughs> yeah so that wellness um so that wellness stuff kind of uh, led me to the uh, core idea of all of this is our heart is that we need to kind of uh, be able to get in touch with our heart so that we can listen to what the universe has been trying to guide us actually but because we have been so busy talking about our unwanted situation that we are so busy thinking about what makes us what makes us feel bad so we forget to quiet our mind. We forget to, we don't have time actually to listen to 
their higher self, their universe. We forget to get in touch with our heart. We like suppress, we like tend to repress our feeling because like me, I've been thought like, it's not good to have those negative feelings. So forget about that. It's not good to cry, be strong. But that's not true. We have to own that. We have to own the negative feeling to be able to release that so that we can feel relief and at the end we can receive that. And that Harnessing Heart Foundation is like the movement, the kind of movement I would like me as the starting point to give the example, to be kinder, to talk kind words and then trying to kind of uh, do the action. So I would like to, and I always show my message through action instead of talking. Um, that's why I would like to kind of uh, have a lot actually. So I already have the uh, financial freedom online course and then one-on-one -on -one coaching and the um, women magazine and self-help book for those who would like to or prefer to read. So all of those stuff. And I'm also thinking like having the uh, TV channel, TV program, yeah. many and ideas. And I, and I think you're going to get them. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, I know, I know you're going to get them. <laughs> right yeah because i'm kind of a dreamer like goodness it's just like that dream is the only thing that makes me jump every morning like oh another day yeah cool like, all of the stuff and then meditate 15 30 minutes and then after that write down I usually write down the uh, gratitude journal, but right after that, just like, oh my gosh, this idea, I get another idea, another idea. And then somehow, a couple of minutes, people just like contact me. I don't know about them. They just offer me, just like my friend out of the blues that like I would like to invest. And then a couple of days ago, I just met a guy and then he said like, um, I have money. And I would like to have a business. So if you do have business idea and you need money, please remember me. I'm more than happy to kind of uh, doing business with you. Okay. All right. That's all right. Perfect. <laughs> so I don't even need to kind of present my idea. Just like people like offer me, this is my money. This is my money. If you need me, talk to me. So money is not an issue anymore to me. Just like, okay, all right. Wow, that feels so good. Just like, all right. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely. Absolutely perfect. So as you know, I do um, guided meditation, saying oracle cards. And each week I like to ask my guests what they would like me to do for themselves and those watching. So Dante, would you like me to do an angel oracle card or a guided meditation for you? Yes, please. Which one would you like? <laughs> um, whatever. Okay. Well, yeah. since I've got the cards in my hand, shall we do the cards? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's okay. do that. Yeah. So when I do when I do the cards, I do the cards for what you need to know for your highest good at this moment in time. Um, so although okay. I work with the past, with past life stuff, when we work in the past, we work to heal and clear it so you can be back in the fully in the present. And when I take okay. people to the future, when they know what their future is, they come back to the present. So everything I do is for um, the present. So what does mm -hmm. and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does Dante and everyone who's watching this do? Oh, okay. So that one decided it was going to jump out on us. <laughs> oh my god this is so perfect for what we've been talking about it's, it's literally confirmation okay uh -huh. 
desert passage. Trust there is a divine plan. My goodness. How, How come? <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. I, I, you, you know, again, it's trusting the universe. It tr it's trusting the angels. It's, it's trusting. So this is real, real confirmation for you that, you know, that, that what you're saying and what you're bringing is absolutely perfect. You no know, trust in the divine plan, you know, um, even, even, if, even if it's like, it seems like it's a desert and there's nothing there, there is always something there that, that um, will will come to you. You just have to trust um, Correct. In, in it. So, yeah, um, that that's an absolutely absolutely perfect perfect card um, for you and all those uh, all those watching. So, wow! And, and that was the one that just jumped out. Right. It's so interesting. How come? Like. <laughs> We never planned this before, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's a very, life is so beautiful. No, it's just like, guys, life is so much beautiful. Yeah. So, Dante, do you have any insights yes. or thoughts to leave our viewers? Um, I have a lot, actually. Um, But one thing that I would like to kind of, uh, is like, uh, kind of a self reminder that as a woman, as a woman, we deserve to have it all and it's safe. It's safe to be us. So Let's illuminate the world together. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A yes, and definitely a reminder to us. So thank you so much for that. So I hope everyone that you've enjoyed this conversation and found it insightful, as I know I definitely have, and I'm going to be trying out a couple of these their own techniques. Now, Dante, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Feel free to send the uh, email to me. So it's just exactly like my name, Dante Asianti. We love a letter at gmail.com. And I also have the uh, Harnessing Heart Facebook. And yeah, I have some like, if you contact me, then if you would like to kind of having one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm more than happy to give you like a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching for free and then just have a chat. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And what I'll do is I'll put all the links in the comments after this after the show so that everyone can just literally yeah. um, click on it and find you. Um, mm -hmm. get in contact with you so thank you so much Nanti for being on the show and sharing your wisdom um, it's lovely that we can work you know across the across the world um, right. on, on, I know Australia and the UK it's absolutely brilliant that we can connect it um, is brilliant Ray thank you so much for the time it's an honor for me uh, it, it's, it's beautiful. Thank you for bringing your energy and your positivity and your joyfulness. It's 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 a, it's beautiful. So thank you so much um, for you. that. And of course, anyone who's watching this, if you have reached a crossroads in your life and you need some guidance in finding the meaning of your life and getting clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. So please feel free to reach out and connect with me so we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call to help you gain some clarity on where you are going and how you can empower yourself to take charge of your destiny. And if you want to receive a free future life progression recording, where I take you into a future lifetime to get guidance and clarity that you can use in your current life, then sign up to my weekly newsletter. And there's also a couple of other free gifts there as well.
So thank you everyone so much for watching. And I'd like to invite you to share this video as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, as always, then please feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button. Be notified of when the show goes live or when I post new guide meditations. And I look forward to you joining me same time, same place next week. Take care. Bye.